Good morning everyone, and you're here to see basically the testing of this property. So you will see the majority of the dead testing get done. Um, there's a couple of bits that you won't see. It's a bit difficult to... You know, I haven't quite fathomed how to um, set my cameras up um, to properly do this. Um, so there'll be a couple of little bits missing, but you'll see um, radio testing being done for R1R2. You'll see the majority of the... Um, I mean, final tests has been done from start to finish. Um, you won't see the insulation resistance testing done. I don't think I videoed that. Um, but you'll, I don't think I had a chance to do that. Oh, you obviously won't see the RCD testing because that was done already. I think I might have explained in this video that it's a little bit back to front. Um, only because I did the RCBO testing. Because this house is occupied, I need to get it all up and working. So I've now got the opportunity now to finish off and do all the proper debt testing for the certificate. So this is what you're seeing today. Um, normally, you'll probably be seeing this in, in a better order. You'd do, if you would be wiring a house completely and it was empty, you'd do all your dead tests, then all your live tests, then you make it all right. But when you've got an occupied house, that's not so easy to do. Um, your priority then is to make sure that it's actually a livable property when you're finished. Uh, anyway, sorry, I digress. Um, so yes, you'll see all that, uh, all this, uh, all this testing being done and how all the results are done. Um, so there, so yeah. So I hope this will be uh, of interest, and let's get to it. Okay, so it's commissioning day here at this job. There's still too much to do up in in the loft just to tidy things up, but I might as well get the testing done now. So going to test for the needed lighting circuit, so just get to the, it's all powered off, all safe, safely isolated. So these two cables here are also in that same one, they're off, they're going up to this. I'm not worried about that. So I've got the neutral on the line. Fortunately, none of those earth CPCs are in the right place, which I didn't realise. So I'm going to locate the right one. I, th I, I believe I know which one it is, but... Uh, Let's get the, we'll get the R1, R2 test done for the lighting circuit, which is a radial. So I've um, jumpered it in the loft because it's easier to do there. Because um, there's down lights now, so I've jumpered the actual, cable, the actual power cable upstairs at the end of the circuit. Um, as I'm up there, Mark will do it. I know, where, I know where the end of the cable is. So I've jumpered it up there and I'm going to locate the earth, uh, the earth CPC for this circuit, jumper it to the, to the line and we'll get a reading. Uh, oh, don't forget, no your leads before you're doing this, which I've just done, which is 0.33, so on a Q-Tech. Uh, it's that. And those leads are now nulled, now I can do my test. Okay, and there we are, that's the R1, R2 reading for that brand new lighting circuit, so we can we can leave that one alone then, get it all hooked back up again. Right, so we're going to do an installation resistance test. So you can do it at the top of these RCBOs, as you can see. You can do an IR test there, but you've got to have the RCBO on. Uh, now, I've just done the test and it's actually passed. It's greater than 2000. Uh, it was 17 mega ohms on when I did the line and earth, neutral to earth, but line to neutral was greater than 2000. So it's passed, um, but as I just thought, because it's a bit difficult with my phone, I can't really show you the results. Um, but that's how you would do an IR test with an RCBO, uh, especially well, it's on the Hager ones anyway. So you just need to make sure that your RCBO is on and then you can do the test. So we're going to do the new. Um, ring final circuit that we've done. Now because there's three cables that are into that so I need to work out which is the um, spur. <coughs> okay so we've got the <coughs> those two are the ring uh, and that was the spur off the ring. Um, okay so there's the lines. I've done the neutrals and we're coming up with 0.7 oops, finger in the way, 0.7 there on both of those, so I need to multiply that by 1.67 and my math is out the window to do the CPCs. I've got to find the CPCs now. 
Okay, so my mass is saying that it should be 1.17 for the CPC, and we're getting 1.19, so that's with intolerance, that's fine, so there's nothing wrong there. So now we need to do, we need to cross connect the cables, figure eight the cables, that's what we need to do. So there's the figure eight for the R1 RN, you might be able to see. It's a bit tricky to see really, but you can see that I've done the, well, there should be a cable that came uh, there to there, and there to there. I'm going to just double check, make sure I've got those on opposite cables, otherwise that won't give the right reading. Okay, in actual fact, I actually have got that round the wrong way, and you might be able to see that that's now round the right way now. So, we'll go and test that, and go from there. We should be getting a reading. It's 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7 divided by 4, which is about 0.35 is the reading we should be getting on there. <coughs> okay, so R1 RN for the ring, 0.36 should be in 0.35, that's fine, that's within tolerance. Uh, okay, just for complete for this video, I've just done the um, insulation resistance test for this. Oh, let's turn that off, don't need that one. Uh, again, uh, having the uh, RCBO on enables me to do the test from the top of the RCBO. Uh, I'm going to do the cooker and the hob, these are these two, um, and then that's my commissioning complete for those circuits and I can finish off up in the loft. Just a bad, sorry, um, I didn't uh, include in the video the, um, the test for the R1, R2 uh, for the ring because it's exactly the same procedure, it's just I just need to uh, do a figure of eight between the line and the CPCs and uh, that came out exactly as it should do that should have been 0.7 and 0.12 I think it was should have been 1.9 uh, divided by 2 is 0.9 no sorry divided by 4 uh, is, what did I say it was 0.7 0 0.12 0.1.9 divided that by 4 is about five, yeah, it was about five, and I was getting about 0.48, so yeah, it's within tolerance, it's fine. Um, and we'll do all the, re we'll put it all on the paperwork, and obviously we've got the ZS and stuff that, I've done all the, all the ZS and IPF stuff already done, I did that an, uh, another day, the other day, so that's all been done anyway, so I don't need to worry about that. And we know this is a TNS system, there you go, TNS, just for your knowledge. So we know we're supposed to be getting on the ZE, so uh, anyway, so that's all been done, I've done that already. Okay, so the readings for the hob R1 R2 is 0.35, that's the formula cable. I'll check that, but I think that's absolutely fine. Right, can I just say very quickly, so today is a commissioning day, and you've obviously seen a lot of the stuff's already live. This is the job that's been in progress for ages. Uh, and I did do testing when I laid the cables to start with, just to prove continuity and insulation resistance. So I did do all these tests before, um, but there's been some alterations since then, so that's why I'm doing them again. Um, and this is why I'm documenting them again. So all the wiring is now finished as of today for these different circuits. So that's why I'm recommissioning them. But just to let you know, I did do all the dead tests when I did this originally. So, I don't, you know, any comments to say, why am I doing them now after I made everything live? That's because there's been some changes and I'm doing them again. I did them all when I first put all this cabling in. So, they, that, that's the reason why we're doing them now, after the circuits have been live for a little while. Okay, so final test of the day on the oven cooker circuit is getting 0 0.32 against the formula circuit. So, that's perfectly fine. So we can handle that, and uh, there we go. Ooh, there you go. Right then, so that's the uh, commissioning almost complete. You saw in earlier uh, videos that I'd already done the RCBO tests on the lighting and the socket circuits. Uh, I've already done those. Uh, you saw me uh, uh, in a different video showing you how to do an RCBO on a lighting circuit uh, so I'll put a link to that video up there um, 
I'm just going to redo the RTPO test for the oven and hob circuits and then that is all the testing done then I can just finishing up in the loft and the job is finished so here we are we've just uh, seen this so many times before but here we are all set up ready to do the RCT test for the hob circuit so we have a set to 30 milliamp auto just going to get going 2000 is fine Turn the line. Okay, we're going to do the stuff on the board, then we'll come back and see what the readings are. Just sort of show you what happens while we're doing these automatic tests. So, this is the RCBO we're testing, this one here. should be all the tests completed so we're going to see. So back here let's recall the results. So 2000, 2008, 16.8 times 1, 6.8 times 5, 16.4 times 5. So all those tests have passed so we're happy with that. Turn that all off and we'll go to the next circuit. So we're plugged in now on the cooker circuit. Don't forget when you're doing an RCD test to power everything on or it won't work. Okay, let's go and check the board again. As you can see the other RCB has gone off now. Let's get that on. Okay, and that should be those tests done. Let's go and see what the results are. So we should have 2000s and we should let's see an 8, 17.6, 7.6 and 16.8. So again, that's absolutely fine, that's passed, no problem. So that concludes all the commissioning tests for all the circuits that we've been doing. So there you are. That is as far as I've got with the kitchen project with this property. Um, that is it for this for the time being. Uh, as I mentioned at the end of yesterday's video, um, there's probably not going to be much more done to this property until probably the spring now. Um, and that will probably be the rest of the bungalow, because the rest of the bungalow needs a lot of work, wiring-wise, and the other half of the kitchen needs to be done yet. Um, but I have to work around, as I keep saying, I have to work around the owners that live there. So as and when he can get a bit done, I can get back and do my bit. And I can't finish the loft until he's done boarding out. Once that boarding out is done, I can start attaching the cables, clipping them direct and all sorts, uh, making them all in the, right, in the right place. So the cable runs I did is the start of the work to get them out of the way so he could do, so he could do his work. Um, but anyway... It's an interesting project, but it is long term. It's probably going to go on probably for the majority of next year as well. Um, but there'll be I'll do a different series of videos on that as or when it comes to it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this series of videos, and uh, we'll see you next time.